The Rock Share project matches young people with potential flatmates, who are then supported in finding suitable accommodation. The support available through Rock Share includes what to expect from sharing a flat, budgeting and bill payments, life skills, getting along with flatmates and neighbours, and how to access local services. Through working to get young people into shared accommodation, the Rockshare project helps young people avoid long stays in temporary accommodation, helps them avoid tenancy failure caused by isolation, and helps them access housing that's affordable and safe. It also helps the young people build informal support networks through their new social networks, and also formal support networks, by knowing where to get support and advice. There are a lot of young people accessing kind of homeless services and stuff like that. There's a, a chronic shortage of social rented housing in Edinburgh. There's a, a huge demand for privately rented accommodation in Edinburgh. There's several universities and you know there's a it's, it's a kind of it's a central workplace for a lot of people. Um, so the available accommodation is is, is very poor. Um, there's a real lack of temporary accommodation for people who find themselves homeless. Um, and although the council are very good, um, a lot of young people do find themselves kind of in bed and breakfast accommodation in hostels that they may not feel is an ideal place for them to be. Um, a lot of people end up kind of sofa surfing, living between friends and really not knowing where they're going to be living from, from one day to the next. Which, makes it difficult for them to kind of access services because it's difficult to get in touch with them sometimes. A lot of young people that we work on, we, we find that their accommodation is broken down or they've become homeless because they've been isolated or because they've been a bit lonely and they've kind of had all ensuing difficulties, be it having problems with kind of gatekeeping and having too many guests or just wanting some company. So. I guess if people in that situation, we could find a flat share for them, or people who have already been identified as kind of having those needs, I guess could be um, ideal candidates for some sort of flat share uh, project. Well, we work with um, socially marginalised or vulnerable 60 to 25 year olds in the Edinburgh City Centre and West Lothian, so it's a way of getting young people into a place where they want to be and to share with other like-minded young people to help them build on soft skills and shared living skills. We have three young people sharing a flat and some of these young people have never ever had the experience of living on their own. They might have moved from home or come through the care system or young offenders. So it's an opportunity for them to, to develop and gain skills and also to, um, to be less isolated, to share with other people their own age to get involved with projects and activities in their local area and um, hopefully to, to gain better independence so when they do move on they've got the insight and, and the skills necessary to, to live on their own. Um, with the welfare changes that are happening and the bedroom tax um, there's obviously going to be a lot more young people looking for accommodation who can't afford to live or can't actually get a one-bedroom flat because there's a shortage of one-bedroom flats. So we basically recognise that there's, an, there's a need to try and match up young people with a suitable um, provider um, in, a safe, in a safe way that they can basically move into accommodation knowing that there's been some kind of like risk assessment, some checks and also um, some group work where they can build up on their soft skills necessary for independent living and shared living. Just gaining the skills necessary, such as being able to manage the bills, um, get on in the community, speak to speak to the neighbours, um, identify other areas in their life that they want to to progress with, such as college or other training opportunities, rather than just focusing on merely having a, a roof over their head. Well, at the moment, the local authority are quite interested to see how our pilot schemes work in. Um, we've been in touch with the City of Edinburgh Council and we're also in um, collaboration with West Lothian as well about the possibility of having a flat share project out there as well. I think just so that young people get an opportunity to, 
to um, develop the skills necessary to move on into their own and also just to, to actually get into an area of Scotland that they want to live, you know, as opposed to feeling that, you know, they go to a local authority and it's like, well, you've got no family connections or no um, right to remain in this city. And they sort of generally encourage young people to move back to, to where they have a lot of family connections, but that's not necessarily always possible for the young people we work with um, due to one reason or another. So it's an opportunity to get them in to Edinburgh um, to be in an area that they want to live in. When I first accessed the service, I was on the street pretty much, uh, on and off, uh, for the space of about three months. And I was beginning to wonder about whether or not I'd be able to continue with school, uh, high school, which was something that was very important to me to actually continue with, being as I wanted to go to university. Um, without a place to live and without the support, I didn't feel that that was going to be able to work out. So having uh, joined the Rock Trust, uh, I quickly found myself a lot more stable as I had somewhere to live, basically, which was brilliant for even just getting to school, uh, things like that in the morning and being able to come home in the evening and not be absolutely tired the next day from having been out on the street or something like that. Basically, it allowed me to work my way through my exams, work my way through my last two years of school and get into university, basically, without having to worry about things like money and foods and finding somewhere to live, basically. Um, I've definitely got better relationships with others since joining the Rock Trust. Uh, one of my main problems before I joined up with them was I had a very bad temper and having just been made homeless, uh, I was taking this out on a lot of people and it was becoming quite stressful for both me and I imagine it was for my friends as well. Uh, so eventually having settled down and being able to solely work through my problems, I was able to focus more on having better relationships with my friends. I'd definitely recommend the service to other people in a similar situation, yeah. I mean, just the basic foundation of what you need of just having a house is probably what people see as the most important thing, so they think they can go anywhere to get that and have the same final result. But the truth of the matter is a lot of people can go into just going straight into a house from being homeless or having been uh, having left living with their parents and find that they don't know how to do anything, they don't have the basic skills they need to live, they don't know how to pay bills or manage rent, they don't know how to apply for jobs, uh, they don't know how benefit systems works or anything and they can very quickly find themselves exactly right back to where they started in quite a lot of trouble. In providing housing support and promoting a range of housing options, the Rock Share project helps young people move away from or avoid homelessness in a planned and supportive way. By working to support young people with the challenges of living with others, the service also promotes informal networks and helps mitigate the challenges such relationships present. The need for shared housing options is increasingly relevant as housing benefit reforms impact those under 35. The Rock Share project allows this to happen in a safe, supported and mediated way.